Dr. Venkataswamy, whose dream was to eradicate blindness, a man who had built a, an institution that saw a million people a year. You would see really, really poor people being served by incredibly impressive doctors with a great sense of gentleness. Doctors do on average 80 surgeries each every day. You have to be committed. They don't make a lot of money. The conditions are not easy. It's very, very hot. And yet this sense of purpose and this sense of success is infused with a sense of joy. He died about five years ago now, leaving this unbelievable legacy of, I think, one of the most important social enterprise institutions in our world. I hope that Acumen has been able to capture some of that truly extraordinary culture. See, when I started the eye camps in 1961, the government wanted us to reach the villages. The leaders in the community also saw this one and they were uh, thrilled. And they said, we will come and help you also. So it became a sort of people's movement. Supposing I'm able to produce eye care techniques, methods and all those things in the same way and make it available in every corner of the world, the problem of blindness is gone. And I don't insist upon that that man must pay me before I do anything for him. I said, give the sight man, let him give whatever he can give. So priority is for human welfare. Now, I used to sit to the ordinary village man because I am from a village. And suddenly he turned around and then he sees him to contact his inner being. Here is an old lady who has got so much faith in me. I must do my best for her. Now, how am I going to train myself to do perfection? We identify ourselves with all that is in the world. So there is no exploitation. It is ourselves we are helping. It is ourselves we are healing.